So as you were over the, the automatic spots over in League 2 with Leighton Orient still in the charge, comfortably so. Looking forward to another weekend of action. But who will take advantage this weekend? We're going to take a look at it. All of it next. That's right, folks. Bounce again another prediction video today. We're forward to match number 19, I think, over in League 2. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button. Bang it. All things League 2 related. Papa Rose related. World Cup. I know we got it all here, boys. We got all the fail fee World Cup content you need. But we're also keeping an eye on League 2 because it doesn't stop, guys. It doesn't bloody stop, of course. No rest for the wicked in League 2, of course. Or it are, I think, happy about that. Keep the keep the wheels in motion, rolling uh, as they, of course, they uh, look forward to maybe going uh, a little bit a bit larger lead at the top. We'll take a look at it all of it in a second. Of course, people shut up my VIPs. They are the patrons, of course. But anyway, let's get cracking and have a look at what went on uh, last time. And then shall we? Here we go. Uh, take a look at the results. Of course, how did I do? How did I do? Carlisle with a nil nil against Walsall. Shit show there uh, for them. Crawley with a big one nil win of a Barrow. They're on the climb. It looks like at the right time as well. So big result for them. Um, Crew with a one-to-one of Colchester. Called it, lads. Got them on bang on the nose. Gilling with a two-to-one loss against Notts County. I went the other way. Steve Bish pulled off a one-to-one win of a Hartlepool. Two-to-one win in my eyes. Grimsby got stumped by a Doncaster Rovers at home. I went with a one-to-one win. Later on, with a 2 0 win over Harriet Town, got the one spot on as well. Uh, Stockport County, 2 1 win over Nova, Newport County, I got that one spot on as well. Rochdale, uh, they lost to Mansfield, a 1 0. I went with a 2 0, not too shabby. Salford with an individual against Wimbledon, I went with a 2 1 win. Uh, Sutton United did lose to Bradford City, of course, pushed them uh, closer to the big time there. Uh, 2 0 win there, 1 1, of course. And Swindon with a bomb against Tramier, which of course a bit of a party pooper uh, for, for them as they try to make uh, headway in those playoffs. Take it over the table. This is what it looks like, I hope. Leighton Orient leading the charge. 42 points, of course. They are three points clear over Steamage, who, of course, four points clear over Northampton Town, who are two points clear over Bradford City. Uh, heading against the Barrow, still up there. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe Barrow are up there. Swindon Town, and then Mansfield make the playoffs. Colchester Hartlepool going down right now. Uh, but it's anybody's guess. Could be Rochdale, could be Newport County. Crawley getting away from it at the moment. And then Sutton with a bit of a gap as well. So it could all, it could all change very, very soon. But what about this? Andy, speak. Speak. Picking up top bins there, eight points. Uh, Alex Weller, Richard Stewart, Chris Welch, of course, in the bronze and silver medals there. Kicking on forward, though, Alex Weller, the 100 triple bloody digits. Well done, Alex Weller, for doing his thing. Nine-point lead over Ross of Frost. Is, is, it, is it unattainable? Is it an assailable lead? We'll have to see, uh, as, of course, the picks keep on going, guys. you just got to keep on going. Maybe, maybe he has a week off, a bad week. Maybe he gets distracted with the World Cup. Who knows, uh, of course. So keep on predicting, keep on going. Andy Speaks up there. He's, he's been here. He's done his hard work. He got his top bill last week, so fair play to Andy Speak. Uh, of course, take a look here. The link here at Cut Before Shots League 2. Get your name in lights. Join Andy Speak. Alex Weller, Russell Frost, all the boys uh, in the Prediction League, uh, as of course you become. You get you start to create a, 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 an aura about yourself, a, a, a streak, a predicting streak. You know, imagine if Frosty was walking down the street and he saw Alex Weller. You know, uh, you know it'll be like, hey, I know you, you're the top of the league right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm top of the league in this league. You know, there's they're just, just like personalities clashing in the streets. So, Cool. Just start creating a reputation for yourself as King Pings. So let's get into, of course, looking forward to the next round of games, which do take place on the 19th of November. We got Barrow against Hartlepool, of course. A chance for Barrow to maybe keep on keeping on. Eight times they played since 2017, two for Barrow, four for Hartlepool, two draws, of course. Barrow, though, back to back defeats for them, 58% form. Heading into this Hartlepool, though, 48-2% form for them, just one defeat past four, of course. Last time played at Barrow, a 3 2 win for Barrow back in August 2021. Uh, Barrow, though, pick up a one and loss against Crawley. Hartlepool with a big 4 3 win over Solihull Moors to go through to the F. A cup. Uh, do we know who they're going to be taking on? Uh, I don't know. This computer seems to be doing uh, funky buggers. Five to three on is your barrow for the odds here. 30 to five is your five to one is your long shots. I am back in barrow though. Two to win for them. They're flying high in the league. And of course, I think they're going to uh, take some points of hard ball in the process. Bradford City, though, also flying high up against Northampton Town. What a game this is. This even probably even deserves a watch along. It is, of course, Sparky Hughes up against John Brady in the dugouts. Pleasure the 20 times to earn six, 11 wins for Bradford. Three for Northampton Town. Six draws, of course. Bradford, though, just one to feet past six. Uh, 58% point for them. Right now, Northampton, of course, fifty percent form for them. Uh, one two lost to and drawn to heading into this last time around, though. Of course, uh, in Bradford it was a one one draw. A Valley Parade, November twenty twenty one. Uh, Bradford, though, unbeaten over the last three, pick up a win and a, a couple of draws. In fact, they just lost once against Northampton Town over the last six. Northampton Town, though, pick up a two 0 win of a Gillian. Bradford with a two 0 win of a Sutton United, of course. But coming to this uh, with the odds twenty three to twenty four, year Bradford, we got uh, twelve to five is your away win. Eleven to five is the draw. Back in a three one win for Bradford City on this three points in the bag, and of course leapfrogging over Northampton Town into the automatic. 
next. Can they stay there? Colchester United against Doncaster Rovers. Uh, Played each other 12 times, 7 4. We've got three wins to Colchester, six wins to Doncaster, and we got 12 draws, of course. Uh, no, three draws, of course. Three draws, of course. Uh, Colchester, though, without a win in the last eight, 17% form for them right now. They are going down as it stands. Col uh, Doncaster with Danny Schofield, formerly of Huddersfield Town, 40% form for them, winning two times in the last six. Last time around, though, in Colchester, it was a 1 1 draw back in April 2017. Colchester, though, picking up a 1 0 loss against Crew with Doncaster with a victory, 1 win over Grimsby. Uh, but the odds right here, right now, we've got uh, Colchester 5 to 4 for the victory, 23 to 10 is to draw. 11 to 5 is the away win. That's, of course, Doncaster Rovers. Back in Doncaster for them, 2 0 win. Uh, where are they? Temp spot. They could go all the way as high as fifth with a win there uh, if, if everything else goes their way. Walsall at the best got up against Crawley Town. That's right. Uh, Walsall in mid table, 13th right now, up against Crawley, who are down into 18th. Played each other 13 times, 2012, four wins apiece, five draws, of course. Walsall, though, just one defeat past six, 67% form for them right now. Crawley, 50% uh, form for them, one, two, lost to and drawn to heading into this as well. Last around, though, over at uh, Walsall, it was a 1 1 draw back in December 2021. Uh, Walsall, though, picking up a 0 0 draw against Carlisle. Crawley with a big 1 0 win over Barrow, of course. But the odds right here right now, we got Walsall 65 on for the victory, 35 is your draw, 60 to 5 is your way. When I am back in Walsall, 1 0 win for them, business like performance, and that win also could get them up as high as 11th in the table. Grimsby Town up against Stevenage, high flying Stevenage coming at you as well this weekend. Played to the 10 times, 2016, 2 for Grimsby, 6 for Stevenage, 12, uh, 2 draws as well. Uh, Grimsby, though, 40% form for them at the moment, uh, winning twice at the last six up against Stevenage, of course, who just lost one to the last five, 50 percent form for them heading into this as well. Last time around, though, over in Grimsby, it was a 2 1 win for Stevenage back in January 2021. Stevenage pick up a 1 and win over Hartlepool uh, and Grimsby losing to Doncaster uh, most recently. But the odds for this game are 21 to 10 is your Grimsby, 5 to 4 is your Stevenage, 12 to 5 is your way win. Which way do you think on this one? Tough one. Going to go with uh, high flying Stevenage, uh, 2 1 win for them over Grimsby, potentially closing in on top spot. Of course, Harriet Town uh, taking on Mansfield, of course, who do need a couple of results. So they're, uh, they're slipping in out the playoffs right now. Harriet, though, 33% uh, form for them, winning once at the last six. Up against the Mansfield Town side, winning twice at the last six. 42% form for them, uh, of course, as well. Pleasure the five times to 2024 was Harrogate, nothing but Mansfield, one draw, of course. Last time around, though, over in Harrogate, it was a 0 0 draw back in this, uh, February 2022. Harrogate picking up a 2 0 loss against Leighton Orient, of course, Mansfield with a 1 0 win over Rochdale. But the odds coming into this badge arena, we have, we have, of course, 3 to 1 is your Harrogate Town, we've got 5 to 2 is your draw, 2017 on is your Mansfield. Back in Mansfield, just another business like performance, 1 0 win, three points of the game that could go up to as high as fourth, depending on what goes on elsewhere. Newport County, uh, in struggling right now, Gilliam also struggling, uh, a bit of a zinger down the foot of the table there. Pleasure that just the one time in 2019 was a win for Newport County. We'll talk about that shortly. However, the Welsh Wonders, of course, back-to-back -back defeats for them. 50% form for them. Managed by ex-rover Graham Coughlin. Up against Neil Harris. Uh, of course, just one defeat past four. 42% form for them heading into this. Of course, they played each other in the EFL Cup back in uh, August 2019. It was a 3-1 win for Newport County. A 4-1 win after penalties over at Grimm's, uh, uh, Gillingham. Gillingham, though, won a win of a foul uh, most recently. That was a replay. Uh, of course, they'll go into the FA Cup to take on Dagenham, of course. Uh, and Newport County did lose to Stockport County uh, as well most recently. But the odds right here right now, we've got 11 to 10 on as you do pull out 25 to draw. 3 to 1 is your away win. Go with the host here. Uh, I used to back Gillingham, but I think they're in trouble. Uh, and of course, they're backing, they're sticking with New Harris. Something, a decision, a decision has to be made soon. Uh, otherwise, they could be facing back-to-back relegations, of course, where they should be competing for promotion. Played to the five times. These two sides, Salford against Carlisle. One with for Salford, two for Carlisle. Two draws, of course. Uh, Salford, though, just one win and six. 33% form for them right now. Carlisle, though, unbeaten the last four. 50% form for them. One, two, lost two. And drawn two, of course. Last time played to the over at Salford. It was two, one win for Salford back in February 2022. Salford, though, pick up a no-no draw against Wimbledon. Uh, haven't scored a goal, though, in the last four games. Goodness gracious me. Meanwhile, uh, Carlisle pick up a no-no draw against also, most recently at home as well. The odds right here, right now, we've got Salford coming at you 22 20 for the victory. 11 to 5 is draw, 12 to 5 is your away win. Could be very, very tight though. 2 1 win for Salford. Uh, they can leap for Carlisle in the process and look, go back up a size fifth, depending on what goes on elsewhere. Stockport County though, up against the leaders, Lane Orient coming at you over at Stockport as well. Pleasure six times in 2005, two wins apiece and two draws. Stockport though, the team at the moment, 90% form for them, uh, of course, looking at winning five of the last six against Lane Orient side, just one month of the last three. 67% form for them heading into this as well. Last time, pleasure over at Stockport it was a 2-1 win for Stockport back in September 2009 that was in League 1 like my oh my uh, Stockport pick up a 2-1 win over Newport County late on with a 2-0 win over Harriet uh, of course but the odds for this game go in favour 6-5 is Stockport 23-10 is your late on 11-5 is your draw Stockport County are an awkward uh, team to play and they could actually start really cranking up a notch here going with 2-0 win for them uh, big win as well closing in on the top 10 uh, I think they got folk. they got eyes on uh, playoffs right now I think late on though taking the big one and of course Alexis Steam is in Northampton will like that as well
Uh, kick it off forward. Sutton United up against Rochdale. Coming at you over at Sutton. Play each other corner to, to my eyes. Two times to 22 and one. One and a piece. Uh, of course, Sutton United, though, without a win in five. So three percent form for them right now. They are free falling into 17th. Rochdale, though, way down there. 20th spot. Just one and a six. 25 percent fall for them. Heading into this. Last time I played each other at Sutton was a 3 new win for Sutton. Back in March 2022. Sutton pick up two. No loss against Bradford. And of course, Rochdale with a 1 0 loss against Mansfield. But the odds for this guy, Jerry, you know, we have 11 10 uh, is your Sutton, 9 4 short, 5 2 is your away win. Uh, Going to go with a Sutton win here, of course. It could be, it's paper thin between these two sides. Could go either way, but very, very much so. Uh, of course, into the final couple here, we have Swindon Town up against Crew. That's right, played each other 31 times in 97. 14 wins for Swindon, 12 wins for Crew, 5 draws, of course. Swindon, though, 50% form for them right now, 1 2, lost 2, and drawn 2. Up against the Crew side, uh, just 1 defeat past 6, 67% form for them heading into this match as well. Last time, played each other over at Swindon, it was a 2 1 win for Swindon back in February 2021. Uh, Swindon, though, big up a 1 1 draw. It's Tranmere with crew, big up a 1 0 win of a culture. It's the back to back 1 0 wins uh, for them. Three wins on the spin as well. Looking at the odds right here right now, we've got Swindon 10 7 on. They are red hot favourites. 11 4 is a draw. 4 to 1 is your A win. That is, of course, crew. Crew, of course, are in a 16th spot, but a win. Go actually put them up to 12. Swindon are in 6. Try to make a push for the top automatics as well. 2 0 win for Swindon. Three points in the can. A little bit closer to their dream as well. Tranmere, though, wrapping up the sweep here up against Wimbledon. Uh, of course, come at you. Three uh, 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 this coming Sunday. Day, Saturday even three times they played just in 2014. One win for Tramir, nothing for Wimbledon. Two draws, of course. Tramir, though, without a win in six. Uh, 33% form for them right now, drawing four of the last six up against the Wimbledon side. Just one defeat in the past six. 67% form for them heading into this. Last time I played over at Tramir was a one day win for Tramir, who do come into this on the back of a draw against Swindon Town. Wimbledon, though, with a three one win over Weymouth in the FA Cup. That, of course, sets up a tie against Chesterfield later on in the tournament as well. But the odds for this game, we got Tramir coming at you uh, 2019 on for the victory. Of course, 12 to 5 is sure. 3 to 1 is your away win, which, of course, would be a Shocker. Going to go with a 3-0 benchmark result for Tranmere. That could also put them up as high as 8th, which, of course, will keep their dream of playoffs alive. Once again, it is tight in this division from all the way down into Crew, all the way up to, of course, the number one spot. Of course, anybody's guess. Uh, but if I'm right, this is what the table would look like. Is that right? Did I get that right? Yes, of course. Elaine Orange and Stevens will be level on 42 points. Bradford will be up there in third, of course, closing in on top spot themselves with Northampton, Barrett, Swindon and Mass. We'll make up players. Col Colchester and Hartlepool going down. Gillingham and Harriet, Rochdale are also right in the thick of things for relegation as well. Make sure you get your name in here. Predictions, of course. Cut the Fortress League 2. Get your name in lights and see if you can out-predict this guy, the king, of course. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, hit the little bell. Of course, we've got non-stop World Cup content right here at Blackburn Overseas all the way through to the final. But, of course, we'll keep an eye on this, these leagues uh, as they, of course, keep on keeping on uh, despite uh, the focus of the world elsewhere. Of course, I will keep on watching you guys. Keep on. And I said, I might even do that Bradford City, Northampton, down watch. That could be a zinger of a game. We'll see, though. I've got a lot on my plate right now. But anyway, till then, guys, subscribe Thumbs up, hit the little bell. We go again very, very soon.